Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And yeah, my voice is a little froggy today, but this is the strongest my voice has been in like four days. So uh, can finally film. This is the third consecutive year that I am filming a beginning of the year makeup inventory. So I'm going to be going through the numbers from 2020, 2021, and now 2022. Y'all have seen a lot of declutters from me, especially in the last year. That's been like a lot of my content. So uh, the collection is incomparable, but we're gonna compare them. Beginning of 2020 collection, you can think of it like a 2019 makeup collection of a beauty YouTuber, beauty YouTuber. It was a lot. <laughs> and even now it's more than like a normal person, but I feel like it's within the realm of a normal person's makeup collection. Perhaps the 2023 makeup collection video will be like a true capsule makeup collection. Wouldn't that be something? Let's just get into the categories. So first is primer. In 2020, I had nine primers and here they are. And then in 2021, I had three. This year, in 2022, I have a single primer that I barely use and that is the Rare Beauty Primer. I'm like seriously gonna fly through these categories and then maybe I'll do some more like commentary at the end, but yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. Foundation. In 2020, I started with 22 foundation products. In 2021, I brought that down to 11. In this picture, I forgot to include the Glossier Skin Tint, but that is the 11th product. And then now, currently, I have four foundation products. Oh wait, no, not four, five. I have five. So that includes the Merit to Beauty stick, whatever, it's, it's not per se a foundation or a concealer, but I use it as a foundation stick, as well as the NYX Bear With Me Titan Skin Veil in the shade 04 True Beige Buff, as well as the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade 032. I forgot, I think it's like nude beige or something. And then the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Moisturizer in 5.5 Bamboo. And lastly, the newest one to my collection, like within the last couple of weeks, I finally picked up the Wet n Wild Tinted Moisturizer. And yo, I was looking for a replacement for the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil because that was discontinued. But uh, this, this Wet n Wild Tinted Moisturizer is impressive so far. It is what I'm wearing on my face today. And I think it's just super easy to apply with the fingers, with my hands. I don't really use makeup brushes anymore, actually, except for my eyes, but um, yeah, you get the gist. So I will probably talk more about this later in the year, but that's my first impression. I really like it. Okay, next, concealer. So at the beginning of 2020, I had nine concealers as pictured. And then in 2021, that went down to six. And now I have three. So that includes the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Shortbread, the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G9, as well as the Siam Perfect Tip Concealer in the shade 2. I feel like if I declutter any of these next, it's going to be the Too Faced Concealer, partly because it's old, but partly because it's too light for me. Like, it, it doesn't really match, but, <laughs> but I like the formula, so I've been keeping it around. Okay, next for powders. At the beginning of 2020, I had five. And then in 2021, I also had five. And now in 2022, I have four. <laughs> so that includes the Rimmel Stay Matte. This has been with me forever and it just never, never runs out. And I also have the Flower Beauty Illusion Powder in the, in the lightest shade, which I really like. I think it's the colored porcelain, um, pretty blurring. I don't know, it does its job. <laughs> and I also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is like a white translucent powder. Um, very mattifying, very blurring, so it's pretty good too. And the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in the shade Light, I think. I probably could get away with just keeping two. <laughs> Actually, the next one I would declutter would probably be the Rimmel Stay Matte. Not because it's the worst, but because it's years old at this point. The packaging is broken. Um, I have pan in that powder as well, so just like that it's it's time coming soon. All right, next, setting spray. In 2020, I had four. In 2021, I had four. And in 2022, I have two. And I, I'm, I'm saying like, I don't really wear a lot of makeup anymore. Uh, well, I wear like eye makeup and stuff, but I don't wear like a full face a lot because at work, I wear N95s, it's part of my job. And so setting spray feels like a relic of the past. 
at this point. You know what I mean? Anyways, I have two. I have a mini of the Milani setting spray as well as a Ciate London that I got in a FabFitFun. All right, bronzer. So I have never really had like a crazy bronzer collection. In 2020, I had seven bronzers. In 2021, I had eight. And of course, after all my recent huge decluttering, now in 2022, I have four bronzers. I just realized that I should have been scooted over for all of this dialogue. Um, for my throat's sake, I'm not gonna repeat, I'm not gonna start filming again, but I will scoot over starting now. So four bronzers at the beginning of 2022. This includes one cream bronzer and three powder bronzers. So the cream one is a Glossier Solar Paint in the lightest shade. And my powder bronzers include the Nabla bronzer in the shade Dune. It's my favorite bronzer. It's the best formula, super creamy, just mm, so good. Um, so I actually, I mean, one of these days I might pick up a lighter bronzer shade in the Nabla formula, but I probably won't because I don't really need it. And um, the other bronzers I have are the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Capri Coast and the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. It's kind of a blush bronzer hybrid, but I'm just putting it in the bronzer part because that's how it's technically classified. I love all of these. I'm not gonna declutter any anytime soon. <laughs> okay, blushes. Blushes has always been one of my bigger um, makeup categories. So in 2020, I had 25. In 2021, I had 19. And now in January of 2022, I have 10 individual blushes. And that includes my cream and powder blushes. It's just all together. My cream blushes include two shades of the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. I have one in Blurred Buff and one in one mini in Mauve Sunrise. And the other cream blushes I have are one of the Ofra Matte Cream Blushes. I think it's called the shade Loyal. And the other cream blush is a Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. Okay, I have the Nabla blush, my favorite blush as well. I really like this formula, if you can't tell. Uh, as well as the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Ginger Pop. The Nabla blush is in the shade Lola. Yeah, I'm like remembering all these off the top of my head. Um, and then I have four depotted powder blushes. One is a Wet n Wild blush in Champagne, something other that's discontinued. I also have the Benefit Dandelion blush, that really light pink one. I have an Ofra single blush. I don't even remember the shade name of that one. I got it so long ago. And a Becca blush in Wild Honey, which is discontinued. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> all right, next is highlighter. We're like roughly halfway through. My voice is already feeling it. Okay, so highlighters. 2020, I had 20. 2022, I had 14. And now I've brought that way down to six. I have six single highlighters, including creams and powders. So I have a single cream highlighter. That is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade two. It's beautiful. Like this is the the single <laughs> cream highlighter that I have kept. It's really, really nice and really like, True glass skin. I have not had another product replicate the Korean glass skin that I really want. So yeah, I love it. And then my powder highlighters include Ofra Rodeo Drive. Below that I have Pixie Duo in Subtle Sunrise. Is it Subtle Sunrise or Delicate Dew? I always mix it up, but anyways. I also have the Essence Pure Nude highlighter. A Becca highlighter in Gradient Glow, which has five different shades of the highlighter in one compact and the Fenty highlighter in the Lightning Dust variation. Okay, face palettes, 2020 I had nine, and then 2022 I have four, and now I have two, two. <laughs> okay, so that includes the Smashbox face palette, which I'll never get rid of, as well as the Becca face palette they did in collaboration with Chloe and Malika way back, it's like really old, <laughs> but the products inside are really gorgeous, so I, I like both of these. I mean, that's so redundant to say at this point because I've cut down my makeup collection so much that everything I keep, I'm just like, I really like. I really like it. <laughs> okay, brows. This has not been cut down a lot just because I have a lot of unopened products at this point in my life. So in 20, actually it did go down a lot. I had a lot of unopened products before too. So in 2020, I had 17 brow products in total. That includes pencils, pomades, gels, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> in 2021, I had 12 brow products and now I have seven. So I have four products that are open right now. Those are the, the products on the left side, the two brow gels and, um, and the two pencils. 
And then on the right side are products that I haven't opened yet. You can see that a lot of it is it cosmetics. I was really randomly added to their PR list like in the last couple of months, which has been kind of bizarre, but nice. They sent me a lot of brow products to use, which is where most of these are from. Eyeshadow primer. In 2020, I started out with five, which is way too many eyeshadow primers. No one needs that many. And in 2021, I had four. And now I have a single eyeshadow primer. That's the Ultra Ego primer. It's like light, has a little bit of a tacky finish. Again, kind of like setting spray. Eyeshadow primer is not something I use very often anymore, um, but I have a single one if I ever need it. Now, the next category, eyeliner, I actually didn't record, I don't think, in 2020 or 2021 because I never really used eyeliner, like even, even um, black eyeliner, I usually just used eyeshadow. Now I use eyeliner more, so I just have one number for this category, which is for this year. I have four eyeliners, three of them are black, one of them is brown, and uh, they're all pencil liners. I honestly think that are easier to manipulate, and for some reason they just flatter my eyes better than, than um, felt tip or ink liners do. So my eyeliners include an Urban Decay 24-7 in a black shade. I have an Ulta Cold Black Pencil, a L'Oreal Mechanical Pencil Liner, as well as the Nabla like, Thick Stylo Liner in the brown shade. All right, mascara. This is one where I've actually gone up. Um, because I have a lot of unopened mascaras, I really need to stop buying them. I uh, go through a lot of mascara, but I, they, just, they just keep coming into my life. So in 2020, I had nine mascaras. And then 2021, I had 14. And now I have 12. So, I mean, I, it's gone up from the very beginning, which is 2020. And uh, here are all of them. I currently have five open right now, which are the ones on the left. And then I have like a whole drawer dedicated to unopened mascaras. I was looking, well, before I was filming this video, I was watching old makeup inventory videos, which by the way, I'll have linked up here and also in the description box. I'll make a little playlist where you can watch all of my makeup inventories through the years. And that Wander Beauty mascara and the, uh, the Essence Lash Princess mascara, those have, those have both been in there since a year ago when I last filmed this video. So those will have to be the ones that I open next. But anyways, I go through mascara at least, so it's not like having a bunch of excess like foundations, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not really too mad at it. Okay, now for single eyeshadows. And every year I have done this category differently. <laughs> so in 2020, I didn't even have a single eyeshadows category because I didn't really have a lot um, at that time. But in 2021, I accumulated some more single shadows from indie brands like Sydney Grace and some ColourPop singles and whatever. So I differentiated them in 2021 into like cream shadows and single powder eyeshadows. I'm just gonna clump them all together. So in 2021, I had a total of 64 singles. And in 2022, now, I just grouped those together again and I have 43. I mostly kept most of my like single powder shadows. Uh, I love me some JD Glow, which is in that top palette, the huge pans. I have some Sydney Grace, which is a cluster of nine in that pink palette. Um, I have some Alamar Cosmetics, which are the square pans, and the other circle pans are ColourPop. I'm probably gonna cut this down because I actually don't reach into at least the one-off singles a lot that are like in the drawer, but hey, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's something for another day. <laughs> Next category is mini palettes. So this is classified as palettes that are six shadows or less. So in 2020, I had 15 mini palettes. In 2021, I had 10, and now I have three only three. <laughs> so my mini palettes include my favorite, my favorite, this is the Nabla Cutie Palette in Platinum. And a couple other mini palettes are a Pat McGrath Palette Iconic Illumination, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. Oh gosh, my camera might actually die on me like right now. <laughs> so we'll see how much more I can get through. Eyeshadow palettes, seven shades or more, like full-size palettes. In 2020, I started with 31. Well, <laughs> And in 2021, I had 23, and now, now, are you ready? I have three, three full-size palettes. So that includes the Nabla Side by Side, the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie Collaboration Palette, as well as the Ultra Ego Daydream Palette. I honestly am looking at this and thinking I can declutter two of these palettes and just keep the Nabla palette. But again, that's something for another day. At this point in time, I have three, which, is superb, I'm very happy with that. 
Lastly, I have three little categories for lip products. So firstly, I have bullet lipsticks, another category that I just dramatically, dramatically dropped in. So in 2020, I had 33 just bullet lipsticks. And then in 2021, I brought that down to 15 after like a big declutter. And then after another big declutter, I have that at seven now. No, that's not right. Nine. I have them at nine. <laughs> there we are. And I, again, I'm not going to read out all of them for the sake of time and other things. Um, so let's move on to liquid lipsticks or lip stains. In 2020, I had 34. In 2021, I had 13. And again, there's a big declutter between each of these numbers. Now I have seven liquid lip products. And five of them are L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lip Stains. I love that formula. I've talked about it a lot. And the other ones are red lip stains. One is from Sephora Collection, which I think is discontinued now. And the other one is from 3CE, which is a Korean brand. Gosh darn it, I ran out of battery before one more category. So my last category is lip glosses. So in, oh, let me scoot over again. So in 2020, I had 29 lip glosses. In 2021, I brought that down to 15. And now I have 13. So this is more than I want, um, certainly, because I don't even use lip gloss that much anymore. So uh, I could definitely cut this down easily by half, just looking at what is in the picture currently. But that'll, that'll show in next year's makeup inventory. And with that, that's a comparison of my numbers throughout the three years. Very different, very different makeup collection now than a couple years ago. Oh, let me turn around my choker. Oh, by the way, this whole like, um, this moon and star choker is actually sold out now. I just checked on the website before filming, but I got this from shopbeautybyjasmineyan.com as well as my Akatsuki earrings. These are $10, super cheap, like very cheap. Um, this was like gold plated, so it was a little more expensive, but it was only $28, so. Um, anyways, those are my accessories. I'm kind of obsessed with them currently and you can use the code Sally for an extra 10% off even though they're already really cheap. Uh, yeah, so that was my inventory. I um, truly have a whole different perspective on makeup now than I did in the middle of, you know, I like the height of beauty YouTube. Anyways, things are different now. <laughs> I, I truly think that within the next year I'm going to be filming more declutters for sure. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff because I'm going to be moving in less than half a year. And I will have something close to a capsule makeup collection. So if you're not already subscribed to me, um, it, it, thanks for watching the video, especially to this point. But definitely subscribe and stick around for that process. I think it'll be pretty entertaining to watch. And with that, I'm just going to uh, stop talking <laughs> and uh, say goodbye until my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was fun. I hope it was entertaining. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.